Beyond Kafka, Creative Perspectives on Climate Change. Climate change is serious, world-changing, and seemingly out of our control. Amid debate as to the extent to which human behavior has caused or accelerated climate change, we are thrust into the fact of the inexorable change itself, a warming planet with wildly fluctuating weather, floods of biblical proportions, winters of arctic degree, species on decline, and natural resources stretched to their limits. These are changes we can't seem to reverse, and which we may only minimally ameliorate, even with our best efforts. Humankind has been faced, time and again, by the consequences of our actions and inactions, and, time and again, we've turned to art to express both our sorrows and our joys, to give shape and form to the amorphous problems and vague anxieties of our world, to bring the ungraspable into our reach. Art, in its companion music, humanizes the inhuman, warms the chill air of fear and alienation that Franz Kafka articulated so well with his words, brightens the dark unseen, and puts a nimble step in our forward march into an unknown and unknowable world. Blues for Kafka blends traditional Jewish melodies with African-American blues in sinuous sax and clarinet, juxtaposed with dark images of alienation with Franz Kafka's own art doodles and more traditional family photos from Kafka's life. This is a world that seems disconnected, rent by climate change and rendered out of control. It is the world as Franz Kafka saw it. Franz Kafka was a Jewish author who lived in Czechoslovakia and described the modern world as alienated, alarming, ambiguous, menacing, and out of control. Kafka's was a world that didn't make sense and swam in absurdity. While he was writing in the early 20th century, many of Kafka's themes resonate with people today, and Blues for Kafka tries to bring to a modern audience Kafka's timeless impressions of a world that's a little far away, crazy and different, and yet somehow also familiar. Mundo Caliente laughs in the face of futility, taking the hottest music possible, Latin salsa and mambo, and turning the potential fear and tragedy of a world out of control into a celebratory dance. It's not that climate change is something to celebrate, but that we can use the strength of art to take whatever there is around us, good or bad, and turn it into something that's beautiful, that communicates, and makes people think. Mundo Caliente presents a striking contrast of art and human promise with its red and orange hues, flares of color, and waves of heat and smoke pulsing around a world to a boil as Latin dancers step to the steamy beat. It reminds us that solving an enormous problem takes energy and creativity, just as it does to create a work of art, dance, or music. Green Mountain Ramble created during a period of sadness in the artist's life, takes despair and turns it to hope and promise and, once again, celebration. When we do things of value, especially art, it keeps us alive forever. No matter what our situation, it's always open to change. Even when we think things are hopeless, we can make the choice to hope, dream, and do. We can make things better. At the end of Kafka's life, he said, if you believe passionately in something that doesn't exist, you will help create it. If you're willing to persevere, you will get something. Maybe not exactly what you expected, but something of value, something worth sharing, and something that enriches lives far beyond our own. <laughs>